I'm Jeff Shackelford and this is another edition of Ion Design. You know, you're going to see a lot of coverage on this website uh, from the 2017 Walker Cup and there's a reason. Uh, this is one of the best events in golf that a lot of people don't know about and so I want to give you a little bit of an overview of why this is a special event. If you live in Los Angeles, why you should come out and watch or why you should watch on Fox because they're going to have six hours of coverage each day and it is really a special, special thing to see. So first of all, the Walker Cup has an amazing history. I highly urge you to go back and read about the initial matches at the National Golf Links 1922. Bernard Darwin was on the team. He also wrote about it. Uh, just an incredible cast of characters who played and that launched the Walker Cup into this amazing team event between amateurs from the United States and Great Britain and Ireland. And it has remained that all along. They did uh, make a few modifications to the format over the years. and uh, but. Generally, it's been a contest between some of the best amateur golfers from both sides. Jack Nicklaus, Tiger Woods, Jordan Spieth have represented the United States. Uh, of course, from Great Britain and Ireland, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose, Graham McDowell, some amazing names who have, uh, have played in these matches. We all love team match play. The Walker Cup is special though because they're 10 player teams and uh, the format suggests that you need to be playing well, although the captains do have a little bit of room. They will play over two days, a Saturday and a Sunday, and it's a very simple format. In the morning, they play foursomes, alternate shot. There are four matches each day in that format, so that means two players from these 10-player teams sit out. Uh, in the afternoon each day, after a little bit of lunch, the teams go back out and they play singles. On day one, Saturday, they play uh, eight singles matches. That means the captain leaves two people out, but on Sunday, everybody plays. Uh, the event is also very special because it has the best flag raising ceremony in golf. It's on Friday evening before, it's done in the late light, they raise some flags, everybody dresses up, they give a few speeches, people mingle, uh, there's no over the top uh, music and dancing and ceremonies, it's just a nice tribute to the game, the history of the event, the captains speak, uh, everybody <laughs> leaves, goes and gets a good night's rest because the first day starts at 7.15 a.m. The Walker Cup is also sensational because it is taking us to special golf courses. This is Los Angeles Country Club's uh, north course is really unveiling to a national audience. Hoylake will host the next time in, the, uh, in Great Britain. And then of course Seminole and Cypress Point are already on the calendar for future Walker Cups. Uh, and finally, the thing you need to know about the Walker Cup is that it may be the best spectator event in golf. Now I know that's saying a lot, the Masters is a special event, but at the Walker Cup, you get to walk in the fairways. When the crowd gets a little bit bigger, there's a rope that keeps you back, but you get to listen to the matches. You get to watch the players interact either with their caddy or their opponent and really get invested in the dynamics of a match. It's a very special event. Please, if you live in Los Angeles or Southern California, come on out. If you feel like traveling, it's gonna be incredible, great weather amazing golf course, but most of all, you're going to get to see young, impressive contenders for future major championships playing their last time potentially in amateur golf in a team format that is sensational to watch. The Walker Cup is an amazing event.